Hello, this is Ed with uh, Fins, Furs, and Feathers. Um, I'm doing another video today. I like to do shorter videos. Everybody keeps telling me to do these long-term videos, but uh, I like the shorter ones. Uh, maybe it's because I've got the attention span of a pissant, or it's because I like to get to the point real quick so everybody can see how to do stuff without having to watch you know, hours of junk to get to the one part they need. Um, but right now, I'd, I'd, I'd like to introduce you to someone. I'd like to introduce you to uh, my lifelong love. Dee, would you come here? Can I have my bow? Dee is the love of my life. But, uh, thank you. But the recurve bow is my lifelong love. I uh, have been shooting it for many years. Uh, nothing I like more. I like to, I like the way it feels in my hand. I like I like the way the arrow lets go. I like picking a spot on the target and hitting it. I'm uh, I'm addicted to the recurve bow. I, I do tons of videos: fishing, hunting, uh, camping. Those are the type of things that I do, but my lifelong love is a recurve bow. I'm going to go ahead and shoot a couple for you. Let me see here. I don't shoot like normal people do. I snap shoot. Uh, I don't take too much time holding back the string. Uh, my shots are normally very quick. Uh, I, I just keep staring at the target. I see the spot that I want the arrow to hit, and then I just pull and release. Uh, thank you. You know, make sure that your tips are on good. You know, that's that's the thing. But I uh, I always look at the target, pick the spot, pull and release. You know, lots of people say you know three under. Uh, split fingers, uh, you have to hold the bow a specific way, you got to be standing a specific way. Um, all of that stuff is well and good, uh, but once you get your repetition down, it'll come naturally. And really shooting a bow is what's comfortable for you. How are you standing? Do you feel comfortable? You know, if you're standing on one foot, you know, uh, with your bow straight up, and you're closing an eye, and you're trying to look down the arrow, it's just, it's just too much. I mean, you're going to have to repeat it over and over and over again to get your, your shots consistent. If you can just look at the target, see the one spot you want to hit, pull back and shoot. And I even jerked that shot, and it was still very, very close. And that's with a jerk. Right through to it. D, would you grab me those arrows? So, you know, try not to listen to too much hype about standing and how to hold it. What works good for some doesn't work good for others. The, the, the best thing that you can do is, is just make sure that you, you have an anchor point that you reach every time. Keep your arm the same every time. Stand what's comfortable. Uh, some people like to have their, their feet shoulder length apart. Other people like to be step forward. Uh, me personally, I like to shoot straight down. I, you know, I, I bend the bow. So whatever you like to do. Uh, try not to overthink. If you want to put a lot of thought into your archery and traditional archery, put it on the target. Um, put it on the target. Shoot a couple more here. So, whatever works for you, however you feel comfortable, I hope everybody's enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, like, subscribe. Uh, that way you can see my next videos. 
the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to do on instinctive shooting. I'm going to get more in depth and explain a little bit better on instinctive shooting. Uh, hope you enjoyed.